Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you the latest update I've done to my future purple deck, which is what I'm pretty proud of right now where it is. So there's two major things that I've updated. First is the image placeholders, which now contain drag and drop placeholders for images, so it makes it super easy if you want to drag in one or multiple images at a time, it will automatically populate in the right way. And the second thing is that we now have an animated version, so a lot of you asked for animated templates, so that's why I've done an animated version of this template. Let's have a look and see what it looks like in PowerPoint. So here we can see that we have the slide deck, and if I put it on the overview mode, we have more than 60 slides that have been designed with that purple theme. So a dark background and the accent color. A lot of the slides that you often use, for example, like SWOT analysis, timelines, they can all be found in this template. Now the cool thing is if you double click one of the slides and you just drag in one of your images into the slide, it will automatically fill into the correct placeholder on that slide. And then you can just right click and crop and then adjust the positioning if you want to readjust the positioning of your image. Now this is in the standard version the non-animated version in the pack you will also have the animated version of that slide and what this looks like is exactly the same so we have the entire same slide deck but at the top you can see it's an animated version which means if we play it in preview mode we can see that all of the elements are nicely animated to the presentation with a cool fade and all of the elements just fly in nicely and as you skip through the presentation even the title slides they're all animated with that cool float in animation for that modern cool clean aesthetic which i think really adds to the impact that you can have in your presentations now as you can see there's a lot of image placeholders in this slide deck which are also animated and i've done this in such a way that you can just drag in your images so for example let's take this slide and we drag in an image into the slide it will automatically fill into the right place and if we now preview again we can see that the animation takes place with that image so let's go for example to a little bit of a more complex slide with multiple images let's see what we can find here so if we go to the overview we can just see that there's multiple available so let's take a cool slide with images for example these three ones and we just grab let's drag in three at a time release them and it will automatically populate now you can just double click the text and your text here you can see the gradient just remains the same add your title here and then the last one add your content and then you just paste in the text or the content that you have and also here now all of the images the text everything is animated in just a few clicks which will save you a lot of time and effort while making presentations and if you just skip to the presentation you can see that there's multiple different slides with all sorts of layouts that you can use you can fill them in the chapter title slides they have all been animated which is pretty cool and then at the end there's also some icon sets that you can use so there's quite a lot of content in this presentation that you can use for your now if you want to modify this presentation or animate it a little bit in your way what you can do is for example you have here there's six points now if you want five you can just delete those and you can see that i've grouped them together so i've added an animation to the grouped so like if we go to animation animation pane we can see that the different groups on the slide have all been animated with a little bit of a delay in the timing i did it with zero point increments so that everything on the entire deck is consistent in the animations now if you want to type in your title you just double click and select the text adding your own text so that's how easily you can just update or modify the presentation if you need five you can just delete them if you need an extra one drag it down again type in 06 and let's say extra chapter and you can see you always copy that animation with it just make sure that you select it and then compare this is 0.8 seconds same as the last one so this one we have to increase with 0.2 and then we play it and we can now see that everything nicely animates with it so that's pretty cool same goes for all of the other elements you can see the animation for example this slide there's one two three four five six elements but only three of them have been animated and that is because the main elements have been animated in the slide so if we go to view and slide master you can see that the chapter titles all been animated here title the little line and the text boxes they have been animated in the master file so if you ever want to change anything you can do that here which for me makes this the most practical way of using a template with animated slides so if you know how to use it by just overwriting the content adding your images or doing some custom animations you can just type it in here and 
added the same way. And if we look at this slide, for example, we can see that the title, the line, those we can't select because they're in the master, which makes it not too crowded, very easy to work with, I think. And you just animate the extra text title and then the three boxes. So you can see those are all grouped together and animated as one item. So three in total. Same thing if you want to override the text, perfectly possible. If you want to change the icon, that makes it a bit different. So you can delete it and still keeps the animation. So like this, you can just delete those and nothing changes to the slide. It still animates in the way that you want. But if you now want to add your own icon, for example, let's scroll all the way down, three different icons and select three different icons, control C, and then scroll back to the slide. We can paste our icons here and let's drag those on top of each title. You can of course use your own, that doesn't matter. And if we now group those together, you can see that the animation goes away. So if you add your own icons, just make sure that you select the three boxes again, go to animations and then choose for a float in animation. And then here you can set the timings with previous and just add that 0.2 increment, 0.4 on the second one, 0.6 on the other one. And this way, if you preview it again, you have everything nicely with that smooth animation again. Now, if you want to change the color palette of the design, that is also possible. You can do that in the design tab. So go to the design tab on top and then go to variants. And here you can see I've used my purple slide deck or color palette, which goes from dark to light and the accent color. You can just change it for example, to a blue one and the entire presentation changes. Just make sure that you keep the same logic with the darker color on the right and the lighter color on the left. And this way you can really create some nice looking presentations in your own style in a totally different feeling with just a few simple clicks. So the way it's set up, it's pretty convenient, I think. And it also keeps the animations. So even if we go, for example, to the blue one, I think that looked really nice. Play it from the start again. We can see that these slides have been animated and all of the things are copied to that style. So I really did my best to animate all the components in a logical way by using PowerPoint a lot with simple drag and drop images and just easy to replace text elements. So that makes it really easy for you to follow along and just modify it however you like. Now, if you want to purchase this template, you can do that via the link in the description below and there you can find the normal version as well as the animated version. And for those of you who have bought this specific template in the past, you get automatic updates for the rest of your life to all of the updates. So it's pretty cool. You get the animated version now and maybe whatever comes in the future. So thanks a lot for watching and if you want to see any updates to this presentation just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to edit as soon as possible.